I wanted to give you the final version of Steampunk Hat number one. Um, I had thought that I was finished with it, but I was not. Um, this is the one with the ultra suede, the burgundy ultra suede that has kind of a metallic black uh, sheen to it, it depending on the light, uh, which I really liked about this fabric. Then I covered it with this black laser cut satin that has a mesh behind it. Um, very pretty. And added the lace under here, uh, a, a headband with a little teeny bit of bling, some ostrich feathers, and this big satin bow. And if you remember from a previous video, um, this is obviously, uh, I cut out a flower from the lace and edged it so that it won't fray. And in the last video, I had mentioned that I might want to put something black in the middle that was not distracting. You know, I changed my mind. From the back, you had no idea that this hat had any burgundy to it. Um, and I wanted there to be a little bit of hint to just intrigue you to want to see the front of the hat. So I covered a button with the Ultra Suede, and I'm very happy with it. It's tiny, it's subtle, doesn't take away from the pretty uh, different textures and matte finish and shiny finish and the lace flower. But it does give you just a hint of intrigue, like, ooh, where's the rest of the burgundy. And then finish the edging um, of the ribbons into a point. They just didn't look right um, straight across. Um, Carol in Canada, I said, you know, what do you think? And she's like, um, can you cut that like a swallowtail? In her cute accent. And um, it, it didn't work it, because it frays horribly this ribbon. As soon as you cut it, you've got frays. It's just, um, you really need to edge it and quickly and trying to do a swallowtail with a nice looking edge just wasn't going to happen. So the point was the, the next best thing. We did think at one point to turn one side, you know, sideways like that and the other one like that and it just looked weird. I thought if one of these ends up in front of your shoulder, they'll be, why is it cut funny like that? So points were the way to go. I think they turned out nice. Um, boy, with this uh, shiny satin, you really have to um, be very careful with your hand stitching or it will show. So I'm happy with the work that I did and that. And then the front of the hat I think looks very pretty. So I also wanted to show that I sewed on this headband. I chose to go with a very thin headband that does not have combs uh, or um, a comb you know in it or teeth because I pictured a woman with her hair all dressed up with lots of hairspray and curls and whatnot and if you put this in your hair and you need to adjust it you're gonna mess up the hairdo and you're gonna hate it your hatband so I, I went ahead and I got a metal one that will not break um, that's covered with uh, a, a satin a black satin um, was able to purchase it like that and it's very sturdy um, and what I did was I sewed it on with elastic thread and the reason I did that is so that this can be packed easily away um, for shipping for me for one um, I won't need near as big of a box as you can see but also for the person who gets the hat it will fit if you get a tall hat box and these are going to be painted with our logo um, this will fit into it with the headband extended it would not um, and this way you can you can you know go to a convention with your hat in a hat box and um, with the headband that will just tuck under and tuck back out with no problem whatsoever I did also find if you have very slick straight hair like I do um, you'll need to anchor this a little bit better to your head one of the things that I like about the elastic thread also is that this hat can be slid one way, the other way, you can adjust it when it's on your head where you want it on the headband and the elastic thread will grip it really nicely. I, I wrapped it and wrapped it and wrapped it um, and pulled it tight but it's got some give and it's kind of rubbery so that it will allow you to adjust it you know where you want it on the headband. And then included with the hat I was able to find some covered um, hair clips black covered hair clips that I will include with the hat and I'm um, for my for me with my slippery straight hair I need three one underneath and then one on either side and with the um, 
lace they're easily hidden and I also like how thin this headband is so that it won't be that obvious in your hair even if a little bit shows that won't be horrible so I'm very happy with uh, hat number one and uh, like I say see that the headband just fits under there really nicely but it's still quite secure on the hat so we're done isn't she beautiful I'm quite happy with her hat number one and our business name is Gaslight Dreams. We're quite excited about it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.